Hello, my name is Kevin and welcome to Love Decanter's channel. So this is a bit of an odd video in that I wanted to talk about why I started collecting glass. Um, and there's a bit of a tale. So I've always been an old fogey kind of person. Uh, before um, I started collecting glass, my house was almost full of antiques and stuff. And um, so, yeah, that's... And then I met my wife and I went to her parents' house and their house was all full of antiques and stuff. And her dad had a little stand with some decanters on it. It's not a stand built for decanters, but it had decanters on it. And, and I thought, they're cool. I like those decanters. I'm gonna have to get some for my house. Mm. And um, yeah, it was a really slippery slope because I bought one, two, three, four, and it just, it just got completely out of control. But um, her dad's not, he's not downsizing. He's just decided to clear the house a bit make it because this house is absolutely cluttered with stuff. Um, decided to clear some of the stuff out and um, he let me have the stand with the decanters on it. And uh, so I thought, that's why I thought I'd do this because I can show you what started me. Um, so I will stop this now and drag it across and show you uh, the thing that went, ooh, I want that kind of thing. Um, and got me started on this journey of glass collecting. And it was like 32 years ago, I think. So this is the thing that I saw. They're not full-size decanters, they're little one-pinters. They're all Georgian, I think these are the earlier ones. These are circa 1800, and they're really pretty little decanters. Even by today's standard, they're, they're very desirable decanters. So I wasn't kind of looking back with frosty eyes. Um, they were me looking at them today after all my collection, everything. These ones look particularly nice. With a little... Yeah, bullseye stoppers. So these are kind of like circa 1800. And then these ones are Regency ones. One of these is absolutely knackered. This is the good one. Uh, and these are a bit later, probably something like 1820 or something like that. This is the knackered one. I think first of all, I think, yeah, the stoppers. Almost had it like this. And then if you look underneath this one, See, it's got a big crack in the base, but I don't care. It's mine now, and it's the thing that started me collecting. Um, and the stand, let me take this off. The stand is cool as well. So I think it's made out of ebony with bone inlay in it. And then uh, these Bit rails on it. These are all made out of um, porcupine quills and it's carved and everything. So if you look at the top there, can you see it's all carved? What finials are turned if I show you? Yeah, it's super nice. Look at that. It's a cool thing. It's got little line pad feet. I think it's Regency. I, I think it might be from India or somewhere. Um, don't think it's made in English. Just doesn't have that feel about it, especially with the different exotic materials. I don't know if they've got porcupines in India. Might be wrong, I don't know. But um, yeah, it's a, it is a super cool thing. I fell in love with it and, um, and over 30 years later, it's let me have it. So now I'm very happy. It's gonna go back to where I, I was keeping it. So yes, yeah, this is the thing that got me started. Not just the stand, it's the little decanters that came with it. Yeah, cool. Anyway, um, so let's wrap this up. Yeah, so that's how my terrible vice started. I was already liking old stuff. Look, I mean, look at my furniture here. Um, and if you saw around the rest of my house, yeah, you, I liked old stuff. But 
yeah, this was something else. This is Obsession. Uh, and if you're a collector, there's probably something out there that started you on the road um, where you went, oh, I like that. Or you bought something and went, oh, this is nice. There's another one that's like it or something. And then everything got out of control. Yeah, that's what happens in life. So no references with this one. Um, so please just remember to like and subscribe. I will be making more videos. And thank you for watching and have a good night. Good night.